What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So it's been ages since I've done a video about the uh, Open Orc Arena PC port and I figured I'd do another one because this PR has managed to fix so many things. The PR is a pull request by the way, just saying. Now, um, what does this fix? So first off it fixes 60 FPS timer fixes for the dog, whatever that is. Still not finished in the fireball trail. Uh, yada 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 limbs jiggle okay that's good and merge branch merge branch merge branch there's more stuff uh more updates and timers which is great add 40 fps instead of 30 fps because 40 fps is way less buggy uh fix the skybox rotational and higher fps modes oh it's so much smoother by the way fix crash on exit which is nice so Hopefully that will help some of you people out of audio crashes. Allow a window to pause when focus is lost. That is a resource saver. Uh, fixing the mouse, camera, and horizontal centering. So it's much better mouse and everything. Uh, also a mouse, uh, fixing the mouse stick range, which you'll see in a second is loads better. And uh, I, I ended up requesting a review just so, you know, the main developer knows what's going on. Uh, fix wrong link in solution for Z player. Nice. Why is Battlefield trying to open? Okay. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Um, fix the force 20 FPS. So this means 20 FPS is no longer going to be forced on you when you do certain things. And fix the build failure. Uh, dependency on assets for that's good. Ooh, the walls in Jabba Jabba's belly are going to now be at 60 FPS. The collision issues are not completely fixed. Still working on that. Um, yeah, let's see. We're going to move on to the newest ones, which is fixing the soft lock on tunnel exit. So now you can go through the tunnel at 60 FPS. Also, you can experience the amazingness when opening a chest in 60 FPS. Uh, the transitions for doors have been fixed, so instead of it being instant, it now is what it should be. And fixing camera and drivers when... Ooh, these are new. I haven't taken a look at that. All right, so you can see the windows pause. And when I click in, there we have it. The window starts up again. So we're going to go up here to a door. Uh, before we do... As you can see, the plants are bugged, and they disappear fairly quickly, which I'm not really going to complain about. Those are not the proper speed. Um, we are at 60 FPS. So if we jump in real quick, I'll put up the FPS monitor. See the doors? The door transition is now fixed. Before it was way too quick, you couldn't even see the transition, but now it works out really, really well. Force roll here. Will we kill this guy? Yeah, that is another uh, side effect of the recent changes. So we're going to head out. And what we're going to do is we're going to run to the tunnel. And we go in. It stays at 60 FPS now because that force 20 FPS cap was removed. And look at that. That also works at 120 FPS minus visual camera bug. And when we open a chest, I've opened all the chests, unfortunately. Uh, the chest opening is at the right speed. Everything looks the way that it should. We can now play this whole game in 60 FPS now if we wanted to. Some effects are still too fast. Some collision is still off, but will be fixed eventually. Uh, the developer is working on it with someone else, trying to get everything functional. That's pretty good. Now, what I want to do is go up here and test to see if the audio works on the other side. Good. Now, I want to show you the aim. It's been very much improved. 
There we go. Or I had issues with that. I mean, it was way too smooth. The input has been improved tons. So that was another pull request. And honestly, I'm glad that it was. Uh, it is now perfect. So, um, it is still better than ship's implementation. It is way better than the original implementation on the N64. And it's better than the original implementation on Open Orc Arena. So it's, uh... Perfect. Um, what else? Let's go this way. Ah, uh, there's no fire. I wish there was a way through this. Now, um, other things that we need to consider that were fixed. None that I can think of. Let's head out. Uh, another bug is she moves too far. When you first uh, do the cutscene here, she will actually go past where the camera expects her to be and end up where the camera does not expect her to be. And unfortunately, she doesn't fix herself. So other than that, I think that's pretty much it, you know? It's a good amount of fixes. There's other things uh, like in Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. The walls now move at 60 FPS. The animations as well. Uh, the new 40 FPS mode is really cool. That would be considered something for the Steam Deck, probably. But I like running at hyperspeed. Wahoo! How do they get through here again? I, I never could figure out how they glitch through stuff. Will this go to 120? It will not. That is very unfortunate. Anyway, with all that, um, most of you might think these are minor fixes. But when it comes down to it, these are actually major fixes. Uh, this is true 60 FPS, true 30 FPS, true 40, true 120. This is not interpolation. This is real, true FPS. And that's what makes this project so great, is that it's putting its best foot forward to make uh, the best decisions. I'm not a fan of interpolation. I don't like how janky it is. It feels off, it feels fake, and I'm not a fan. Now, um, whether you like it or not is always up to you. Thank you, Fritz, for doing this. Fritzel, I don't, I can't remember fully the name. I'm not good with names. I, uh, to get this is pretty simple. I guess I could maybe show you. So if we do this. And first step is to clone his repo, which is this one right here. So it's Frizzle10110. I will link it in the description below. And if you already have a clone of OOT, you can just call this dev fixes. Or just, I usually name it dev. And it will clone in. And uh, the next part is when it actually grabs everything, we'll be doing a git checkout and we'll be checking out his dev branch. So, so CDN, uh, we're going to call that dev. Yeah, so we're in. And we're going to do git checkout dev. Yeah, so we're now on the dev branch. And uh, you're going to take your ROM, wherever you have it. I don't care where you get it. That's not my business. And we're going to look for dev right there. We're going to go to ROMs. We're going to go here. And we're just going to paste that here. And then we run the Python thing. And as you can see, it's running. It's doing its thing. And then after that, you head into this folder here. So 
So I'm going to go to where it always already is. And you're going to open up this in Visual Studios. Just follow the guide on what you need. And once all that's done... Wow, there's some audio feedback. That's weird. And once all of that is done, uh, you're pretty much ready to just compile and play the game. I will not be including any builds. I will not be including the ROM. It's not what I do. But uh, yeah, that's how you get to his repo. That's how you get to use all these fixes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share the video, do all that cool stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.